Hello, Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studio. We have a quick tip concerning samples. In this case, we're talking about a hi-hat loop. We're taking a look at these hi-hat samples here. These are from the Mike Hotkins drums uh, from Splice.com. Check out Splice.com. It's brilliant. This hi-hat loop, I really like the sound of. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this into my track as kind of a starting point, kind of a good... Thing to build around. Now you'll see here next to the sample is the BPM 128. Pretty much any sample pack that involves loops will have a BPM. Each loop will have an individual BPM or if it's an instrument uh, it will have the key or the note that the instrument is for like multi-sample purposes and whatnot. So you should have the key and then the BPM. This is just a hi-hat loop so there's not really a key or, or a note in here. It's just the, the BPM. Now you can see that my project uh, BPM is 110 and this hi-hat loop is 128 so this what this does is this creates a lot of confusion for a lot of people because if I drag this into here I'm gonna drag it right into here there it is and we're gonna go ahead and double click this and that'll center it in the uh, in the window down below we're gonna go ahead and hit play wait wait a minute wait wait this this doesn't sound like this Well, that, that sounds completely different. Now you'll see this icon down here, and what this will do is this will play the sample at the current BPM that you have selected in your project. So I recommend, I recommend do not check this, because what that's gonna do is it's gonna automatically stretch the previews of your samples. If your uh, BPM is different than the actual assigned to the sample, it will actually stretch it. As you're previewing your loops, they'll get stretched, which is a big no-no in my case. I, I think that's kind of a... Now, how to fix this is if you go over here, you click on this, you can see it's by default every sample you drag in. And I believe you can change this in preferences. Uh, every sample you drag in is going to be automatically in stretch mode. You don't want this. You don't want samples stretched. I mean, unless you're going for a specific effect, but in the most part, if you want like a nice, clear, uh, looped sample uh, from a sample pack, you don't want to start stretching stuff. I mean, the algorithm for the stretching is pretty good here in Bitwig Studio, but how to fix this is you change this to raw. Now, in raw mode, the sample is exactly how it is. It's similar to if you're a photographer, if you shoot in raw, you're getting exactly what the lens sees. Same with the sample. If it's raw, it's exactly what was recorded. There's absolutely no stretching going on. I recommend raw, unless you're going for some kind of a specific effect, or but uh, raw is the best. Now you can see if I clicked raw, now this is no longer uh, two bars, so that's a problem. If I play it, it sounds right, but this is going to be a hell of a thing to loop here because it's like 2.387 bars. You know, I can't loop this. So how to fix this is you need to make sure that the BPM of your project is 128, which is what the sample is. So if I move this to 128, you can see that stretch in that. There it is, 128. You can see now that it's exactly two bars long. Let's play this and let's see if this actually loops properly. There you go. You can see I didn't even have to use uh, fades here at the beginning and it, it actually seamlessly loops. So that's that's because this is a really good sample from a good sample pack. Um, I tested a lot of these samples and they're, they're great samples. Uh, that's the Mike Hotkins Essentials from Splice.com. You got to check that out. So um, I highly recommend when you drag your sample in, pay close attention to that BPM, put it in raw, and then change the project's tempo to match the tempo of the sample. Now, if you're dragging in tons of samples, then it's very important that the BPMs match or else you're going to have to stretch certain things. And if you stretch them a lot, that's okay. We do have a stretch H. D, which is a little bit better stretch algorithm, but I always recommend raw. I really like working in raw. And again, if you go to your preferences here, you can go use raw audio if sample is. If you do want every single sample you drag into your project to be raw, that's how you do it. You uncheck the top, you check the bottom, and then you just set this to zero, zero, zero. So, and so that's how you do it. Again, 
just to review, um, every sample should have a note or a key that samples in. It should also have a BPM listed right there with the sample. What you need to do is drag that in. It will automatically be stretched unless you set the preferences like I just described. And then to uh, get the same sound you get in the browser or an unstretched raw sound, you need to switch your mode to raw. And then you need to change the BPM of your project to match the BPM of the sample. Hopefully that clears up some confusion. That's my quick tip for this week. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have more videos, more content, more product reviews coming up. On your feed there, click the bell and on your feed you'll see my videos. And every time you watch one, hopefully you'll learn something. These videos are not for experts, they're not for beginners, they're for everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this hi-hat loop. Get it going, you know. It's drums, so I'm going to turn it green because it's a drum loop. Yeah, I think I'm going to build like a baseline around this or something.